Well, since November 11th of 2017, I've been working on restoring a teardrop trailer for a friend of mine. And uh, this is a home-built teardrop that uh, was constructed uh, by a couple of guys over a couple of weeks uh, several years ago. Uh, it's estimated the teardrop has about 30,000 miles on it. Uh, and it's taken uh, its owner all across the country to basically any national park you can think of and lots of camping trips in Wisconsin and just all over the place. So um, she had seen my work on uh, building wooden kayaks and thought, hey, I, could you help me with my trailer? And I said, sure. And once I got into it, it was a little more than a little help, but I am thrilled to death of the progress and I just wanted to show what I've done so far. Now here's the trailer in my garage. Not a lot of working room <laughs> to want a car garage to work on a trailer, but uh, it does work. Uh, what you're seeing here is the front of the trailer. Where's the, uh, the tongue? See in the front of the trailer has a uh, storage on the on the uh, lower portion and you can see here that I've already repaired a couple places that had some soft wood that had been damaged uh, by weather and leaks over the years so in the prep I used a grinding wheel and uh, tried to cut through all of that thick layers of marine paint and uh, get it down to identify where there were problem areas in the wood. So like here, you can see some cracks where there's some water damage seeping in. And then right here at the seams, each place where there's a seam, you can see that there's water damage. And that was also leaking in to the inside of the trailer. Once the surface is prepped, the wood is repaired, soft spots are patched, it's ready for its covering. This is exactly the same technique I used with uh, fiberglass on uh, building the kayaks. So I'm going to create a skin out of canvas. This is 10 ounce duck cloth type canvas. Very thick, very nice to work with, high quality material. Here you can see an edge. Now, we come around to the side, which originally looked just like the front of this. We can see now what this looks like. There's the window is covered up. The duck, the duck cloth is uh, has been glued to the side. Go Hawks! Here you see the new doorway for the, to accommodate a, a brand new door, replaces just a piece of plywood, and it's gonna be a very nice RV type door. I had to add the, the transom at the bottom, I, that's that entire piece I had to add to accommodate the shape of the new door. And it's gonna make it much more secure and much, uh, much nicer. All right, so now we're back inside and I wanna show you the hatch. So this is the hatch. This is what covers the lid that goes over the galley. And that is a finished product. Got a little more uh, decorative paint to do, but it, this is done. This has been totally refurbished. The surface is amazing. It's nice and tough. That canvas has been painted and it's just awesome. So you go from that to that to the finished product. So the next video I'll show when I put things together and get things painted. See ya!